All right, y'all, welcome back to another Networking with Nico. It's your boy, Nico, and moms, of course. We finally made it to Austin, Texas. We are outside of my doctor's office. My appointment is going to be in about 15 minutes, so we're just coming live with y'all to let y'all know that we have made it. Um, we slept well last night, at least I did. Uh, lady over here been having dreams, but uh, I feel good about it. Um, I know you guys had some questions, so I'm definitely going to ask my doctor those questions that you guys had. Um, I'll make sure I ask him as many questions as I possibly can think of so I can come back to y'all and let y'all know what he says. Um, I seem to be very ashy. Maybe I should lotion. I don't like to lotion if y'all didn't know. But, um, yeah, we're just waiting here, um, before we go in. It's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting ride here. I just want to keep y'all posted, so I will get back to y'all after we get back into the car to let y'all know how it's going. And, um, yeah, I feel pretty good. Hope you guys feel great. Hope you guys have a great morning, a great day, and I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all, welcome back to Networking with Nico. Um, it's your boy, Nico. And um, the appointment went very well. They gave me a folder that I'll take pictures of to show y'all what the folder was. Um, and they also gave me a prescription that I had to pick up at a certain pharmacy. So I did drop it off. Um, right now we're waiting in the car for my next appointment with the nurses at 1130. And then I have another appointment at 1 or 130 for my COVID test. And then we'll be back at the hotel chilling. So I'll go live during that time. Um, I did ask a lot of questions. Of course, my mom did ask a lot of questions as well. Um, I'm feeling very excited. Of course, when they checked my blood pressure, it was high. Not too high, but um, we did check it again before I left because I was super excited and it was fine. So, anything you want to say, mother? Are you excited? Yeah. That that didn't really seem exciting. But um, anyway, apparently there's going to be this catheter stuck in me for like the first three weeks. And I don't know how excited I am about that. Oh, yeah, I have to go home and shave as well because I'm hairy. Um, they said I got to shave the side of my leg or Your my stomach. So I'm going to shave both. So there's that. But um, I'll be back with y'all. Um, after we pick up the prescription and we go do these other pre-ops, I'll just keep y'all posted on what we're doing. And, yeah, I'll see y'all soon. All right. Welcome back to Networking Nick Nick with the start over. Uh. Welcome back to Networking with Nico, y'all. Today is the day after pre-op. Um, so my doctor did give me um, a few things that I needed to do um, before, of course, surgery on Monday. So um, one of the things that I need to do is actually shave my stomach. Um, I don't think y'all can see, but I gotta shave my stomach and I gotta shave my thigh. Um, I should take a picture of that. But anyway, let me just talk to y'all real quick while, and I'll show you like pictures. I'll take pictures before and after. So basically what I'm about to do is shave my stomach so I'll be able to, um, they're going to have this pubic catheter, super catheter basically. They're either going to put it on my stomach or they're going to put it on my thigh. Um, I will have pictures pop up on the side. Let me stand up one side so I can have it pop up over there for y'all. So anyway, um, I will have pictures for you guys can see what they want me to shave just so when it's coming off it won't hurt. Um, because of course I'm hairy. Um, pre-op, uh, uh pre-op essentially went great um today um let's just start from the beginning um pre-op we got there at 8 a.m on time and i forgot my wallet <laughs> so when we were going in i was like mom do you think i need my wallet mind you we're like 15 to like 20 minutes away from the doctor's office because we booked the hotel that was a little further out but anyway i was like oh man i don't have it but i uploaded it so they should have it on file right but anyway as soon as we got there we got inside i was like good morning how y'all doing she was like good i was like well i have one quick question she said we're closed she made a joke i was like Whew, well at least you're closed so then i don't have to worry about the um license and uh my driver's license and insurance card but anyway i told her that i didn't have my my license and my um my insurance card which was very bad because i drove there but anyway um the doctor did pull me up on that. He was like, you know, you drove here without a license. And I was like, yeah, I know, but it's okay. I made it, you know, whatever, whatever. So that was pretty cool. Um, they didn't need it because they had it on file or whatever. But um, speaking with him, he was able to ease our mind um, tremendously. Um, if you guys have an echo, I'm going to try and get rid of it because I'm in the bathroom or whatever. But 
Um, I do have to shave my stomach and I do have to shave my, um, I guess I'm gonna shave both thighs. So I'll take a picture of both thighs of how hairy it is. Um, I'm just shaving it more so, so it won't hurt when it's taking off, time to take off tape. Um, with the pre-op they did, um, let me read what is gonna be going on. I will be in the hospital for mm, five days. So I go in on Monday and I get out on Saturday. Um, surgery is 7.30 a.m., but I have to get there at 5 a.m. Um, I don't have to do anything else. I did my COVID test today. I registered, so all I have to do when I go in is to pay my deductible um, when I go in on Monday. And on Sunday, I actually have a great day plan for you guys that I will record and have recordings and clippings of. Sunday is going to be a surprise, so I won't even talk about it in this video, but this video is mostly the pre-op day that we had today it was very great. They gave us the prescriptions, they gave us our medicines, um, they sent it over to the People's Pharmacy, that's what they call it. Um, so I'm going to go pick it up tomorrow, that's all I'm going to do tomorrow, and find as much fatting foods that I can find. Um, because Sunday is a day that I don't really want to talk about yet, just know Sunday is going to be a dread, y'all. So y'all gonna dread it with me. Um, but other than that, everything was good. I'm excited for surgery. Um, my doctor's pretty confident in everything. Uh, he reassured my mom. My mom feels a bit better. Um, I feel good overall. I mean, I knew what I'm getting into. I know what I'm getting into. Um, I took my time, I did my research. I found the right doctors. Um, I also tried to get one of um, the doctor's assistant to choose between out of Dr. Santucci, Dr. Crane, and um, he didn't really he didn't really choose who was the better one but he kind of did choose and you know i'm just saying for y'all i chose santucci but i had already chose santucci without him giving me his advice but it wasn't bad he said both doctors are very great um top surgeons in the world of course we all know this um they worked with dr chen um they all worked together with dr safa and dr watt i think it is i'm probably saying his name wrong but those are some great surgeons um, he did give me a side tip that Dr. Santucci is one of the top doctors that cis men go to um, when they have issues. So I did want to say that for the cis men out here that think you get away scot-free. No, you have penis issues as well and you go to my doctor. So ha ha. Um, probably shouldn't have said ha ha, but I'm just saying, you know, it's not that I'm just trying to become a man, but you know, you becoming a man too or you are a man and you got issues being a man, um, you go to my doctor anyway, so ha ha, anyway. Um, so I do feel great about the doctor that I chose. I don't second guess it, I don't regret it. Um, I do feel like I'm in great hands. Um, his surgical staff that I met with today was amazing. Um, I met with my other doctor um, or other nurse in his office. I don't know, they're all so confusing. Everything's still in one place, but everything's so scattered at once as well. Um, but I met with a lot of doctors today. Um, we did a lot of admission work and stuff like that. Everything went great. Overall, I think it's going to be a great experience. I'm very excited for that. I'm excited to be in bed. Um, one of the nurses was warning me that I'm going to be so drained in bed. She said one of the uh, past patients brought in a PlayStation 5. I said, oh, they did because I got mine in my trunk. So she left and she said, yeah, you're going to want to plug up your game because you're going to get bored because you're literally just sitting in bed um, peeing and pooping, I'm assuming. Um, in bed for the first three days or whatever because they said I'm gonna be laying down so there's that but um yeah I just want to let y'all know that we're here we're in Texas in case y'all didn't know and um I'm gonna edit this video tonight and then I'll try and post it for tomorrow just so y'all know what happened with pre-op and post-op and I'll take pictures um after I close this video out of my stomach my entire stomach of the side of my legs and my arms just before they work on it and um I'll put it in this video um, for pre-op, post-op, or whatever, so y'all be able to pre-op, so y'all be able to see what it is. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. Um, this is Friday night. I'm recording this, so I'll post this on Saturday, and then Sunday I will record another video with you guys about my whole Sunday. Sunday is gonna start early in the morning, um, and then I'll drop that video later on that night of what I've been dreading through, and probably go live Sunday night um, just before the surgery, which is Monday morning. So um, right now I'm gonna go edit this video. Add in the pictures, take my shower, shave, and um, edit this video so it'll be ready for you guys tomorrow morning, which is Saturday morning, so you guys can see what basically I went through um, today on Friday. I did ask the doctor, doctor, the majority of the questions, but um, like I said, it all comes down to certain things. Um, 
the worst case scenario he did give us was that your fallow would not, um, blood flow would not come, but they would know that in the less than, basically an operating room, they would know. Um, they did say people that smoke nicotine make their veins smaller and stuff like that. So if you didn't have issues with smoking, you wouldn't have issues with having this proce procedure done safely. Um, if you didn't have issues with alcohol or nothing like that or any blood disorders, you should be fine. Um, I found out with the electrolysis and the hair removal, um, Dr. Sanchucci isn't as harsh on people about the hair removal as other doctors probably would be. Um, he said just because there's hair doesn't mean that should stop you from doing your surgery. That made me feel good because I am a hairy beast, guys. And I was just like, I did my best. Like, this is what my arm looks like without any treatment. And then this is what it looks like with the treatment. So my hair is starting to grow back on the outer side, but on the inside, it's not. So, you know, I look at that as a good thing. I look at that as a, a plus. I don't see that as a bad thing, but it was good for the reassurance of not having to get done or whatnot. Um, so that was good. That was good talking to him. The nurses at the hospital seem amazing. Um, administration was great. Um, the only thing I didn't like today was really the COVID test. Stuck it in my nose. It was a drive into cotton. And um thought I was dying. Uh, I basically cried, of course. Um, so that went smooth. Now, like I said, I just pick up my medication tomorrow. I chill tomorrow. Eat as much junk food as I possibly can. Because when I stop, or when I get into the hospital, I'm not going to be able to eat bad. I have to eat healthy. Which I was eating healthy, but um, like drinking water daily and everything. But I did slack off because I'm in Texas. I, I never had Texas food, so I'm eating Texas tacos and stuff like that. So just... Just bear with me, y'all. Just bear with me. But out here was pretty good. The drive overall was not that bad. Um, we did do the 13-hour drive. Um, I drove about 10, almost 11 hours, and then I gave my mom the rest. Um, I made it all the way to Texas. That's all I really cared to do. Listen, I ain't know my Nissan could hit, but that, that's a Hellcat. I'll tell you that. It was, it was out of there, y'all. Um, I did talk about my keychains to y'all and told y'all that I got my keychains um, from each stop. It was just a souvenir, something slight. I wanted to get, um, what do you guys call it? Shot glasses, but I'm not allowed to drink and that would've been tempting. So I was just like, yeah, let me not get shot glasses. I'll just get like keychains and stuff. Cause I like stuff on my keys. So overall it was a great experience. So far, so good. Um, I'll keep y'all posted. I might go live on TikTok. I'm gonna try Instagram, I've never done it before, but I'll try Instagram live tomorrow. Um, and I'll do TikTok tonight, maybe. I'll try and do TikToks every night. TikTok night live every night just be just to see who's on or whatever see who see if y'all got questions for me or whatever um and stuff like that you know so make sure you guys follow the group i have a facebook group now so when i drop this on my youtube i will add the facebook group to it my facebook group is called nico's cmd follow journey so nico cmd custom made dick follow journey on facebook we do have a group that i'm keeping everybody updated with everything i do every day um, I have went live once on it so far. I do plan to keep going live or at least drop videos there so you guys can watch throughout the day. Um, I have like a schedule where I'll just talk all night or type all night and then put like schedule set time to drop a release information for you guys when I think of it. It'll just release it. Um, I did do that and then I have admins. If you guys are not approved, just let me know. Um, I'll make sure I get y'all approved. Um, to no secrets here. We're still trying to find a way to be able to show my fallow without it getting reported. Um, for now, it's just gonna have to be through my boxers, you'll have to see. But, um, yeah, everything's going good, everything's falling into place. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. So, I'm gonna take these pictures and then I'm gonna go take a shower and hit the bed. I love you.